Hello once again friends and welcome back to Killer Hearts. George here with exciting news. I finally get to tell you about Nonlinear Filter, the brand new plugin we've just released. It runs, as you can see, as a standalone in your door of choice or within one of our snap-in hosts, Phase Plant, Snap Heap, Multipass, the old Killer Hearts ecosystem. And what it does is charter the territory that our original filter plugin cannot. The original filter is based on a mathematically perfect filter curve, and so it's very well behaved at all times. This one is absolutely not. It's full of imperfections or non-linearities, which allow you to colour and add dirt and grit and filth to your sounds in a number of different ways. All these different algorithms, the first few are based on kind of real analogue systems, and the last few are a bit more unbelievable, a bit wacky and unusual, but they're all designed to impart excitement and interest to your sounds in a way that the original filter could not. So let's just dive right in and hear it in action on a synth bass. That's the saturated style. Tubular, obviously with some tube drive. And of course, lots of different filter shapes. I particularly like the notches. They can just be used very subtly to create some movement in the sound. Let's take a listen to Clipped. That's pretty hyped, and warm is a lot more sensible, I think. Until you really push it. Moving further down the list, you've got Biased. Fuzzy. Metallic. And digital. This one I think especially strong on the notch filter. Just for creating little disturbances within the spectrum. So as you can no doubt hear, in combination of all of these different settings, different types of filters, different algorithms, you've got an almost infinite number of different ways to fool around with your sound and doctor things until they are filthy in just the right way. And of course, all these settings can be automated or within the snap-in hosts modulated in a variety of ways. So I've got in Faceplant here, a non-linear filter being driven by the envelope. So if I play some notes, I can get that to react. And of course, a different algorithm, different settings bring completely different results. And it's not just for synths. Why don't we take a little go at it on the drums here? The drum bus without filtering sounds like this. And now let's bring in a notch and start getting creative. So as you can hear, it could really be used to sculpt the sound or as an alternative to some kind of motion or modulation tool, flanger or, or chorus or phaser or that kind of thing. If you want to get some moving peaks into your sound, you could also use it just before a breakdown, for example, to really scoop out the lows. So 
something like that might be fun. And if you want to get really creative, you can use the nonlinear filter as kind of the basis of the sound itself. So here on this track, I have a synth sound, which is unbelievably straight on its own. If I take away the nonlinear filters. It's simply a modulated wavetable going into some reverb. But when we bring in a non-linear filter just oscillating around the higher frequencies there on fuzzy mode. We introduce all kinds of overtones that weren't there before and emphasize imperfections in the filter that make the sound infinitely more organic and interesting. Add to that a rising high pass filter which is being automated in the DAW here and you've got a slowly evolving sound which interacts with itself to create interesting overloads. You can totally view nonlinear filter as a mixing tool, but I think it's much more of a creative tool. You can use this to impart flavor to almost any sound that you might want to record or create. So if you're ever stuck and think that a sound just isn't fizzing enough, isn't giving you enough pizzazz, nonlinear filter might just be the thing you need. It's certainly nice to be reminded that being imperfect can be a good thing, am I right? So check it out today on the Killer Hearts website, and I hope you enjoy using it. It sure is fun. Happy music making. See you again soon. Thank you.